Okay, so when you're using reflection in the context of evaluating an open project, I think it's very important for all stakeholders in that project to be involved in the process to varying extents um, and in different ways. The core project team, that would be the researchers, the project manager, um, managers, they will need to be more intensively um, reflecting because that will allow for an ongoing process of learning from the results of that reflection. And that then needs to be central to the evaluation process. But other stakeholders, for example, funders, people upon whom the project is intended to have an impact, um, other collaborators, partners, they um, should in some way get involved in the reflection process. And that could be via things like feedback um, surveys, feedback questionnaires, um, interviews, anything that allows uh, them to reflect and you to learn from their reflection. So with all these disparate stakeholders involved in the process of reflection, it's actually pretty important to have some sort of structure guiding that reflection, so providing a framework. So what you might do is look at the outcomes for your evaluation, the things that you want to evaluate, the lessons you want to learn along the way, and then set up some sort of framework that prompts people to have a think about those areas, to reflect upon those topics. And then that allows for consistency across all of the stakeholders involving in the reflection process. So while it might seem uh, a little odd to say, do structured reflection, it's a bit, just a bit of a prompt, a bit of a guidance set of guidelines that makes for a more valuable reflection process. Um, Another consideration is that while it's absolutely fine for some reflection to be totally personal and very private to yourself, um, and in fact, when I was um, working as a research associate on the OER Research Project, there were some times when I certainly wouldn't be sharing the results of my reflection. Let's say if something went a bit wrong, and I think, well, right, I'm going to learn from that myself, but perhaps I'll be keeping it quiet about it. But, but generally, it's best if the results of reflection are, are shared, and it's a collaborative process. So um, this, in turn, will allow for a dialogue around what can be learned from the reflection. In this instance, it can be useful then to have a reflection journal, a collaborative document to which all um, stakeholders have access, or perhaps a core group of stakeholders have access to allow um, all people involved to see each other's reflection, have a think about it, and then reflect on it.